Hello, welcome to all of you. My name is Sachin Sambhaji Patil. I welcome to all of you for this session on to find transfer function of RLC circuit. Once again, I would like to welcome to all of you for this session. So, what is a transfer function? Transfer function it is a ratio of Laplace transform of output to Laplace transform of input. So in case of RLC circuit, we are connecting the register, inductor, capacitor and we are applying the input voltage VIT and finding the output. Okay, we are finding these that is VIS and uh, that is we are applying the loop 1, creature of voltage law and loop 2 also creature of voltage law we are finding V out else and we are taking ratio of V out is upon VIS that is Laplace transform of output upon Laplace transform of input and we are finding the answer that is the La transfer function. So find transfer function of RLC circuit. So in this circuit we can see here is connecting the resistor, inductor, capacitor it is connected like this. So here is a, in this circuit VIT is the input voltage applied to the circuit and V out T is the output voltage we are measuring across capacitor C. Now here in this circuit we are applying Kirchhoff's voltage law to loop 1. So we can see this is loop 1 okay, and this is loop 2. So what is the Kirchhoff's voltage law? Summation of V is equal to 0. It means that sum of voltage in closed loop is equal to 0 or we can say supply voltage is equal to algebraic sum of voltage drop across each and every component. So what is supply voltage? VIT is equal to algebraic sum of voltage drop across component means voltage drop across R plus voltage drop across L, PL plus voltage drop across capacitor is equal to supply voltage or we can say sum of voltage in closed loop is equal to 0. So we are applying this in clockwise direction Kirchhoff's voltage law. So we can say here is VIT okay we are moving from minus to plus so it will be plus VIT then my that is a plus that is a plus to minus means that is minus voltage drop across the register it means that the current flowing through register I of T and the resistance value that is voltage drop across register VR. Then what is voltage drop across inductor VL that is the L into Ti T by DT. So this is again minus because uh, the supply voltage okay minus voltage drop across register minus voltage drop across inductor minus voltage drop across capacitor is equal to 0 because summation of V in closed loop is equal to 0. Algebraic sum of voltage in closed loop is equal to 0. Minus voltage drop across capacitor minus 1 upon C integral I dt is equal to 0. This is equation number 1. So in this we are getting this is the summation of V is equal to 0 and we are applying the this is the Laplace transform to equation number 1. So after, after applying the Laplace transform to equation 1, the T will be get transformed to S domain, the time domain to S domain transformation. So VIS minus R into I of S minus ELS because there, if there is a derivative D by DT, it will be replaced by S. Means we are multiplying by S in case of derivative. S into I of S minus if there is integral multiply by 1 upon s or divided by, divided by s. So 1 upon s c i of s is equal to 0. Then v i s is equal to rearrange this term. So this term is negative. So rearrange this term that is supply voltage is equal to algebraic sum of voltage drop across each and every component. Okay. So rearrange this term and shift this term to the right hand side of the equation. So this negative minus will become plus. Okay. We are getting such kind of term. Then Vis is equal to take I of S current common 
ओके आई ऑफ एस इन द ब्रैकेट आर प्लस एस एल प्लस वन अपॉन एस सी दिस इज अ इक्वेशन नंबर टू देन अगेन अप्लाई केहवे लॉ टू लूप नंबर टू सो इन द लूप टू वी कैन सी इफ आर मूविंग फ्रॉम दैट इज माइनस टू प्लस दैट इज अ प्लस दैट इज द वी आउट टी देन प्लस टू माइनस हेर इज वेर गेटिंग प्लस टू माइनस माइनस वन अपॉन सी इंटीग्रल आई डी टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो वॉट इज दिस केवे लॉ समेशन ऑफ वी इन क्लोज लूप इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट इज अल्जेब्रिक सम ऑफ वोल्टेज इन क्लोज लूप इज इक्वल टू जीरो और वी कैन से सप्लाई वोल्टेज इज इक्वल टू अल्जेब्रिक सम ऑफ वोल्टेज ट्रॉप इन द इन द क्लोज लूप कॉम्पोनट ओके इज इक्वल टू ओके सो वी आर ओके वी आर अप्लाइंग द क्रिच ऑफ वोल्टेज लॉ समेशन ऑफ वी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सम ऑफ वोल्टेज इन क्लोज लूप इज इक्वल टू जीरो और सप्लाई वोल्टेज इज इक्वल टू अल्जेब्रिक सम ऑफ वोल्टेज ड्रॉप in the car in the circuit so v of t minus 1 upon c this is the voltage drop across capacitor vc okay minus 1 upon c integral i d dt is equal to zero so take laplace transform of equation number 3 okay we have where equation 3 we are getting by applying k wave law to loop second after taking laplace transform the t domain will be get transformed to s domain so v of t is minus 1 upon s c i of t is is equal to zero so rearrange this term take this term on right hand side of the equation so we are getting 1 upon sc i of s this equation number 4 and we are having the two equations that is laplace transform output v of s and one uh, we are having the equation laplace transform input that is the input voltage vis now take ratio of equation number 4 okay by equation number 2 So equation number four is indicating Laplace transform of output voltage, and equation number two is indicating Laplace transform of input voltage. So take ratio of Laplace transform of output divided by Laplace transform of input. Then we are getting the such kind of equation. So that is the one upon S C I of S upon I of S in the bracket R plus S L plus one upon S C. Now I of S I of S gets cancelled. This current gets cancelled. Then uh, Okay, rearrange this term because we are getting such kind of term. Make denominator of this uh, equal. Okay, so S C R then S square L C plus S divided by S C. Okay, we are uh, multiplying and dividing by each term by S C, and uh, this is the one upon S C divided by S square L C plus S R C plus one divided by S C. Now this divided by convert into multiplication multiply. That is the denominator. After we converting divide to multiplication means this denominator goes to numerator and numerator goes to denominator. So after this, this S C goes in numerator and uh, this term S square L C plus S R C plus one. This will become in uh, denominator. Okay. So multiplication one upon S C and this uh, S C gets cancelled to each other and we are getting one upon S square L C plus S R C plus one. So in denominator we are getting this S square L C plus S R C plus one. Numerator is one. So this is the V out S upon V I S. This is indicating Laplace transform of output voltage to the Laplace transform of input voltage, and it is also known as transfer function of R L C circuit. Okay, is equal to one upon S square L C plus S R C plus one. So this is very uh, simple to find transfer function of R L C circuit. First, you have to apply the loop one, cable law. Then take Laplace transform of this. Okay, uh, you denote this equation number two. Okay, say so this equation number two. Then apply cable law to loop number two. Then uh, take Laplace transform and say that equation number uh, four. Okay, and after that take ratio of equation number four. By equation number two, that is Laplace of output voltage upon Laplace of input voltage. Okay, then uh, because why we are taking this ratio because we are finding the transfer function. In transfer function definition is that it is the ratio of Laplace transform of output voltage upon Laplace transform of input voltage. And after solving this term, we are getting this final answer one upon S square L C plus S R C plus one. This is the transfer function of R L C circuit. okay so i am very thankful to all of you for watching this video keep watching please like my video subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much